Hi, I'm Liz Jordan and I'm a knowledge specialist with um, Health Education England and today I'm going to be talking to Lindsay from Northern Devon Healthcare NHS Trust about her role in uh, knowledge management. So uh, Lindsay, would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself and your role and your extent in knowledge management activities? Hello, yes, my name is Lindsay Southern. Um, as you said, I work for North Devon Healthcare Trust, so I've been with uh, the NHS and in NHS libraries for a year. Um, so we'd only just really got started with our knowledge mobilisation and knowledge management um, back in February. Uh, so just before COVID hit, we were um, in the last time that we were all together in Birmingham for a knowledge management workshop with uh, lots of colleagues. Um, so yeah, so we're right at the beginning of our journey uh, with knowledge management and knowledge mobilisation. So can you uh, tell us about some of the uh, knowledge mobilisation activities that you've been involved in? Yeah, so the main one that we've really focused on this year, and um, particularly as because so many people have been geographically spread out due to working from home and the changes with our working practices is uh, randomised coffee trials. Uh, so we started this last year, but this year we've gone for virtual randomised coffee trials, which have been really successful. And the feedback that we've had from colleagues um, in different departments and different locations have been that actually it's really reduced that feeling of isolation that they might have felt um, being so spread out from their uh, colleagues. Um, but not only that, it's enabled them to get together with um, colleagues in different specialties that they would never have otherwise spoken to. And we have started to see some really exciting um, collaborative practice coming out of those um, meetings um, have had and at the moment we're in the process of organising a joint uh, randomised coffee trial with another trust and so that's a bit of a case of watch this space and look how it goes but the sign up so far have been really excellent and we just want to see how we can learn from each other from across trusts as well. Uh, additionally to uh, randomised coffee trials we've also been looking at how we can continue to support colleagues in sharing best practice and sharing knowledge and learning from each other. So we uh, introduced online webinars, which would have otherwise been a face to face conference uh, with our end of life care team. Uh, it started off as being a sort of a trust specific event uh, on Webex, ended up being uh, 300 people with colleagues from across the whole of the southwest and a few interlopers from beyond there. Um, and our local hosp hospices. So that's been a, a really powerful tool that's brought people together that otherwise wouldn't have worked or wouldn't have happened if it had been a face to face event as it would have been ordinarily. Um, and the outcome from that is that we've now got a conference in the planning for next year, uh, which again will be online and again open to regional as well as our own local colleagues. Oh wow, that all sounds really exciting. Exciting, really exciting. <laughs> so what do you enjoy most about what you do? Um, I just love being that facilitator, that catalyst of bringing people together. Um, and I think as a librarian, yes, we, you know, we, we're there to, to hold knowledge and share knowledge, but it's also sort of signposting, showing people the best way and how they can do that. You know, I think libraries, and librarians, no matter what sector you work in, in knowledge management and libraries, that you're there is like a the heart of, of you know your organisation. Literally, you can bring people together, you can show people the way, um, and that's what I really love about it. And I, I think even though things have been more difficult this year, it's given us lots of opportunities for sort of engaging in different ways. So yeah, it's definitely bringing people together and working with others. And um, what recommendations would you give to someone else starting out on introducing knowledge mobilisation? I would say yes, look at what everybody else is doing because it can, it's really inspirational to see what other colleagues are doing and other organisations are doing, but also to really bear in mind that everybody's situation is different. So what is workable for one trust or one library may not be workable for yours. So yes, look at others for inspiration, but also remember that you know it works for you, for your team, for your trust in your situation and start small it's i know i think it's important to embed the small things and do them really well and then grow on that because it can be quite it feels like a big beast of lots of things um you feel like you should achieve and do but you know take a step back and start with one thing and get embedded with that so that would be my one piece of advice <laughs> you mentioned earlier your uh, online sessions that you've been running yeah. Um, how would you make uh, how would you recommend that people make new contacts when working from home? OK, so I would definitely say utilise uh, all all online applications that you possibly can. 
um, social media has been the biggest and best thing through this lockdown for getting to know people. I'd only been working for our trust for less than six months when we went into lockdown. So I'd not met you know, very many people at all in our trust. And, you know, Twitter has been incredible. You know, the webinar that I organised was done through Twitter initially, co contact with the chief nurse and deputy chief nurse was through DMs rather than emails. Um, so if it's something you're not comfortable with or confident with on social media, you know, I certainly say look up a few videos on best practice and how you can use it to best effect for your business. Um, but any tools you can, so social media, newsletters, keeping in contact um, through web um, emails and email signatures is another good one as well.